I get a picture of that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me get. Well, wow. That uh, they surprised me on that one. Uh, thank you so much. What an incredible uh, honor. Very humbling. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Collins. Uh, thank you, everybody here at OMS. Uh, it's really great to be here with all of you. Uh, that's a really nice thing. You threw me off with that one. So, But thank you so much. It's a real honor. Um, but I'm excited to be here with all of you as we celebrate this very important life-saving project. Um, it's truly been years in the making. I was wondering why I couldn't read my notes. It's because I took off my glasses with my mask. <laughs> oh, that's much better. But uh, yeah, this has really been years in the making. And I remember back in 2019, when I joined uh, Roz and Len Stoller at their home uh, with Rick Kerwin and a number of the folks to kick off this campaign and to thank them personally for their incredible $25 million gift that really made this all possible. Uh, it's going to enable us to provide state-of-the-art inpatient and outpatient cancer services here at this great new facility. And it was the largest philanthropic a donation in the history of the University of Maryland Medical Center. So I just want to add my personal thank you to you and to all the other donors that have so generously contributed. Let's give another round of applause to Stoller. And I know that this, is, this project has been a labor of love for the Stollers and uh, for the entire team here at OMS, and it's the heart uh, of a very bold vision of cancer care and research in the state for decades to come. Uh, we were proud to uh, provide an additional $100 million this year to complete the state's commitment to the project ahead of schedule and to get this construction underway. I can tell you that uh, there's not a single day that goes by when I am not uh, just uh, incredible, incredibly uh, thankful for the dedicated health care providers here at the University of Maryland uh, Greenbaum Cancer Center. And as was mentioned, I'm speaking to you not just as a governor, but also as a former patient and a cancer survivor. And I can tell you that the uh, professionalism and compassion of those who work here, including Dr. Kevin Cullen and my good friend, Dr. Aaron Rappaport, you know, they led a wonderful team that quite literally, I think, saved my life. And uh, during my battle with cancer, I had the opportunity to see the incredible work of this staff here at, uh, at this Greenbaum Cancer Center and to meet some amazing fellow patients and their families. And fighting cancer became a mission for me. And I pledged, as, as Kevin just mentioned, uh, that uh, as long as I was governor of this state and long after that, I'm going to continue to stand with all of those who are fighting this terrible disease. Um, in March, uh, as as was mentioned, we launched a cancer moonshot initiative, which dramatically expands all of our efforts to detect, prevent, treat, and find a cure for cancer so that we can all save more lives. And we committed $216 million to jumpstart this far-reaching initiative, which includes the $100 million for the Stoller Center, $67 million for UMS Capital Region Medical Center, to uh, fully fund the construction of the very first comprehensive cancer center in Prince George's County, which we broke ground on last month. And our Moonshot Initiative also includes $25 million for the University of Maryland School of Medicine and Johns Hopkins University to accelerate cancer research projects, more than $20 million for the Maryland Stem Cell Research Fund, and millions more to help expand the state's life sciences and biotechnology research workforce and to expand pediatric cancer research. Uh, so with this game-changing Cancer Moonshot Initiative, we're harnessing the power and the capacity of our world-class Maryland public health, education, and research facilities to produce the talent, the tools, and the treatments that will help us make decades worth of progress in just a matter of years, and to make Maryland a powerhouse at the very forefront of the nation's efforts to defeat this dreadful disease. During my eight years as governor, nearly a quarter million Marylanders uh, have been diagnosed with cancer. And I understand just how difficult 
uh, it is to get that life-altering uh, diagnosis and to experience the uncertainty of not knowing what comes next. But I also know that there's no better place in the world to receive high-quality medical care than right here in the state of Maryland. This new Stoller Center for Advanced Medicine will be an extraordinary step forward for the University of Maryland medical system and for our entire state. And I'm incredibly proud just to be a small part of this transformative project. And in closing, I just want to congratulate every single one of you who has in any way been involved in helping make this happen today. And with that, I'd like to invite Dr. Suntha, Dr. O'Malley, and Dr. Cullen up here so I can give them a governor's citation to commemorate this wonderful occasion.